In this video, we're gonna talk about the money trauma again, just to go in a bit deeper. And so, if you are struggling at the moment to receive abundantly, either you're not receiving at all, or you're receiving very little, or it's fluctuating you know, here and there, then there's a big chance that you would be wanting to check out to check in rather, how does it feel to need and want anything that you want and need? You see, there's a lot of content out there saying you shouldn't be needy, you know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, uh, so you can manifest, you know, focus on the you know positive thinking, don't come from lag, don't do this, don't do that, and all this is a lot of shaming. <laughs> that you know at the end of the day we're only supposed to be perfect is that it do you understand what i mean for me to be able to heal and feel that i accept and love myself it's not what i'm supposed to not do it's when i'm there what can i do for me do you get what i mean so it's not about not being needy but when i'm needy what is it i need that i can give me it's not to stop being needy it's like you know how you hear people saying stop the negative thinking well hello if we knew how to do that we would right the question is when i do have negative thoughts what do i need and what can i give me that's a more loving approach for me and um whereas it can work for others for me i always need something that is unconditional in the moment where i myself am conditional so it's not about labeling ourselves or others. Oh, you know what? Look at you. You're overthinking or you're negative thinking or, you know, your thoughts are coming from lack. Although we can say it if, you know, somebody is open to feedback and we can say it to ourselves when we're just wanting to. The second thing that we want to do is to take care of that. Okay. Like, like not make it a labeling statement that just sticks there and that's it. Making it wrong. Uh, but more or less, oh, okay, so this is not a beneficial thought, let's say. It's not helping me get where I want. What can I do for me? More of that, right? So, how about, okay, so, so my question for this video is, what do you do with all the wanting and needing? Do you suppress it, make it wrong, and start, you know, being grateful for the good things you have? Or do you actually allow for that? Because that's a kind of a spiritual bypassing as well. In that moment that we're wanting and needing, our inner child is wanting our presence, is needing our presence. And, um, you know, if we have been shaming and, you know, making, you know, wanting and needing wrong, there's a big chance that now all the needs and wants are suppressed and they're blocked because, and, and therefore we have blocked the outer world from bringing in what it is we're wanting. So... How do we shift from, you know, making, needing, and wanting wrong to making it right? First, we need to start self-validating, which means instead of not wanting to need and want because we're afraid we're going to push our manifestation away or a specific person or money away or, you know, lack is the one that actually pushes everything that we want away. <laughs> instead of going from, through that approach, we can start validating ourselves and what it is we're wanting and needing every single moment of the day. And instead of waiting for the need to come, also ask ourselves, what is it you're wanting and needing? And saying, you know, when the need and wanting comes up and it's not very comfortable to also be like, wow, so grateful that this information is coming up. Whereas in the past it was hiding because I was shaming it, you know, and suppressing it into the subconscious. If the subconscious brings up the need, like a child would, right? It could say that our child, our inner child or act, our actual child could say, you know, mom, dad, I need this. That is amazing. If we shame the child or blame the child or inner child or the outer child, the same thing or any other person for that matter, we are making, the, are, we are stating that it's not safe for them to express their needs and wants and it's not safe to have them. So if we have this, we've had this in the past, we would want to reprogram ourselves and therefore start saying yes to needs and wants. And once we are feeling them, we're feeling needy, you know, that we don't have what it is we're wanting, uh, that, you know, um, maybe we're jealous, maybe there's other negative emotions and feelings. In that moment, instead of, you know, making all this wrong and trying to fix it, 
going there, touching ourselves, holding ourselves like we would a child and say, thank you for expressing yourself and validating. You're right to want this. You are right to feel this, you know? And therefore we reverse the shaming that we were doing in the past by making all this wanting and eating wrong. Because, you know, that came as a self-protection because we didn't want to experience the unfulfilled, you know, unfulfillment of all our needs or our wants. And that's why we made them wrong. <laughs> but now we could be stuck there forever. And instead of being stuck there, we can start validating what we feel. And that will bring up us closer to what we really want and need and feel. And then for, therefore heal it. And then we're going to be one more step closer to manifesting and fulfilling our needs and wants. So the first step would be to validate. And to be excited to feel needy and wanting stuff that we don't have, right? Be like, oh, thank you for letting me know. And then just be present in the body and feel the sensations in the body. And then what we can do is also... Um, express ourselves with like either um, vocal expressions like how does it sound to want right and then we could rock ourselves and feel that our inner masculine god source is there looking at us and providing holding that space for us um, you know our inner parents we this is where the inner parenting comes in so there's an inner mother divine feminine divine masculine or inner father that is looking at us as children or as their significant one, right? It's good to actually uh, simulate these roles a lot more from the inside. That way we start healing our nervous system and we start making needing and wanting right. Not only right, we're actually making it super possible because we're recreating the emotional space. How it is to feel to need and be you know, having somebody present with us. The moment we just, you know, um, we could move. We don't have to necessarily, you know, recreate that um, sound. We could if we want the hops. We could rock ourselves. We could move. And at the same time, we could feel that source, God, divine masculine, divine feminine um, energies, like mother and father, right? Or divine masculine as our lover or divine feminine as our lover depending on our right that we, we are looked at seen from all these different um presences i should say consciousness yes levels of consciousness with love neutrality or non-neutrality maybe it is like you know affection divine affection divine presence right so we can actually recreate this within ourselves and feel how it is to feel, to want and need and be seen there instead of hiding from shame. Because you see, in order to heal shame, we would want to recreate this emotional um, state that we have had in the past. And we have been judged, shame, blamed or abandoned, rejected, right? We want to recreate this with the, con the presence and conscious consciousness presence, right? And... Uh, we could imagine how would it be to be seen from source or God, or the divine masculine. And at the beginning, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not. So what we can do and before getting there, we can start by doing it for ourselves. So every time we feel we need and we're wanting, we just go there and we recreate the presence of our, so there's the, the, our inner child, our version of ourselves, and the parent or the adult self, the adult version. So in order to get to that place where we feel that we're connected to the divine and source and divine masculine and feminine within, what we can do to create that distance, right? Not the distance, to actually have the one part of ourselves that's feeling the need and want and the other one that's holding presence. In order to exercise this, we would want to catch ourselves every time we need and want and just say, validate ourselves, say, I'm here for you, right? I'm here for this experience. It's safe to feel this in my body and I just go on, feel the sensations, just bring in presence again and again and again. This is the first step. The more we bring our presence within this experience that we have been stuck in for many years, right? Uh, the more this starts shifting and unlocking. 
and then it's easier to have access to how it would feel like to be seen from universe, source, God, divine masculine energy, how it feels, it feels a bit different, how it is for me to receive, right? That's how I would experience the divine masculine. From the divine feminine, it would be how would it feel to be loved by divine mother, fully accepted and seen with a warm, welcoming, soft energy. So we can have access to all these, um, how do you call it, to all these levels of consciousness, I would say, and how it is to receive from them. So we are as powerful as the giver, <laughs> the receiver, right? So if the receiver is able to emotionally recreate the experience, then the giver can actually manifest <laughs> into our experience. The more we can actually train our nervous system that that's how we are now, right? This is our reality. This is who we are. This is the kind of love we have. So we actually heal from total lack mindset survival to growth mindset to being right being this and so let's go back to needing and wanting needing and wanting when it's validated by other people we you know we, we go and start asking people what it is we're wanting and just you know we recreate that experience with small bids asking this and asking that it's going to shift our reality and when we are at home we can practice needing and wanting every day on the physical body by needing and wanting something, allowing to feel it on the body and also wanting that other part of ourselves, wanting for us to want and need by being present and validating our experience. And this is healing the needs and wanting uh, and the shame around. And this is actually open up, opening up the possibilities, the portals, of receiving abundance so please try it out and check it out and see if it works for you and let me know down in the description box what happened in your reality also my name is Maro and i'm the founder of awakening games and i am creating courses at the moment so that we can shift our reality from the inside out and i will be posting the game shops which i call them game shops the courses under every description box of every youtube um, video if it is that you're wanting something specific, course or content, please let me know. Reach out to me. Please like, share, subscribe and find me on social media and see you soon.